Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here. Happy Valentine's Day. Today, I have a fun, messy technique for you, which I am really having a lot of fun with, so I hope you will give it a try. Um, it is the alcohol ink with um, blends technique. So here's a couple of cards I created. Um, this first one is a happy birthday. And I'll share with you, we're going to actually make the background for this. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, but I used the Summer Shadows stamp set and dies. These gems are from the By the Bay. I just like how they're flat. Um, it's sunshiny in spring and golly, it's February. I'm ready for that. So it is a fun technique. Um, granny apple green, so the card base is just your regular five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have um, white four by five and a quarter. And then I'm using all my cardstock vellum is three and three quarter by five. It really looks great when it's mounted on white. It gets a little dark. My preference is it's mounted on white, but that's my own personal preference. So that's the first card, and I just did a simple, um, I took my Stampin' Write markers on this instead and colored right on the Summer Shadows dies for the inside. And then the other card is this one, and this one is um, just a fun background. And I can see right here, you know, as I'm looking that, I didn't notice that before, but I'll have to watch that. I was um, not putting enough alcohol probably on there to get that to um, go away, but I don't mind it. I'm, I'm keeping it. And, you know, I've been trying to do this in my videos lately, is keep the boo-boos. Um, that way people can say, oh. So if I'm really not liking the look of that, I may just come back and put a couple of gems here. Um, just, you know, like, oh, I didn't get enough alcohol for that to kind of squink around or a little bit so this one is with the um what is that called it is the share a milkshake stamp set and i just used one of our circles from our circle dies once again five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter your white is four by five and a quarter golly i'm really having troubles today Oh, I'll get out this and get some of that to get away. Golly gee, here we are, right on camera. And then this is circle is about a two, almost a two and three quarter inch circle. And I just used, I wanted it to be like a strawberry sundae. Because the background is so wild and crazy, I left this a little bit more simple and just very simple on the inside. So, what I really want, you don't need to know how to make the, the cards and cut that part out. Um, and you know how to cut this out of dies. I really want to show you how to make this fun technique. So, I'm, I always start with some paper towels because it gets messy. Um, and I'm getting into messy now. I've had some wonderful stamping people that have encouraged me in messy. So, here we are. So, the easiest thing, we're going to use this background... And the colors I'm using for that background, and I'm using all the dark blends. The lighter ones seem to get too light. So this is Dark Daffodil. Um, being gentle on the tip when I'm scribbling. I'm not scribbling hard because I don't want to really mess up my tip on that at all. Um, I've watched several videos, um, one of them by Patty Bennett, about doing this. Um, her suggestion is when you're using the um, alcohol part is to make sure you're using um, at least 91 or above. It seems to work better with this technique. Um, but there are a million different ways to do this. And it's, th there is no rhyme or reason what I'm doing in case you're wondering. I'm just getting blobs all over the place. Um, she used this color. Um, combination and she called it I think cotton candy that was her take this was a Nancy color con combination I did light oh that's a light rich razzleberry I thought I did a dark dark flirty flamingo 
and I did a dark um, Blackberry Bliss. So that's what that one is. This one we're doing, like I say, the cotton candy. And, you know, it's okay if some of them get together because they're going to all blend anyway. Um, and then the last one is the Granny Apple Green. Um, it, I remember we used to have Green Galore. And that was a favorite of many. Um, well, this is kind of another fun one. I, you know, I just got color everywhere and it's not perfect and it's all whatever. So now I'm going to take one of the Stampin' Up! Spritzers. Now let me tell you about spritzers. I have tried different spritzers and I'll tell you, Stampin' Up! Spritzers are really the best. They have, I know it sounds goofy, but some of the other ones have too much. So I filled this with some of that 91% um, percent alcohol. I'm going to do a couple of spritzes. You don't want to do too much. Now, the next thing I would do right away is get, and I'm, do I have it ready? Of course not. Um, let me grab a block and just put that on the edge. It'll just keep it down a little bit. If it gets a little ink on it, no biggie. I'm going to let that dry for just a second, but you already see some of that kind of pooling around, which is what you want. So I'm going to take, this is an old one, and you don't need to have anything in it. This is a water painter, but I have new ones too. Um, but I'm using an old one right now. And I have a little, if you can see this, little container more of the alcohol. And I'm going to go to each color and just dab some of this in there to keep spreading that a little bit more. I'll just make sure and get that here. I'm going to use my paper towel, clean it off, and now I'm going to do the um, Bermuda. And it's okay if it's all squinkity. You know, that's an official term. Um, if it's all like mushing around, that's good. You want mush. Because um, you want it to have this fun background. And then I'm going to do a little bit in the yellow. Make sure everything. Okay. Now I am going to just blow on it a little bit to get it dry and you notice when you blow it kind of goes a little bit more hope you don't see me in the camera blowing it's not going to completely dry and that's totally fine so the next thing I'm going to do is take my Wink of Stella, and I'm going to get it going by squeezing it just a little bit. If you haven't used Wink of Stella, you're missing a treat. And then I'm going to take the end of it, and I'm going to kind of push it as I'm going and tap a little Wink of Stella on there. You don't want too much, because if you get a big glob of Wink of Stella, it's hard to, to um, dry. But you can see a little of it coming out. I don't know if you can see. I don't want too much. I might like even drip a little bit. Push a little teeny bit of a drip. There we go. Drip. You don't want too much because it takes forever to dry. Um, so just a little bit. You can kind of see the Wink of Stella coming around. Clean that up. Then I'm going to go back in and get some alcohol on my brush and do the same thing. Tap. And now see those circles start? Aren't those fun? Now you can go back and muss around with this as much. You can add more ink, add more alcohol, add more whatever. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm really happy with that. And then um, what I'm going to do a class with this, I'm going to suggest people put it to the side for a few minutes. Um, if it's not completely dry, we will use the heat gun just to kind of finish drying it, but um, dry it a little bit on its own first. Um, and I can probably take this block off 
because you see how it wants to really, I really kind of push it down. If you, I even use my fingers because I don't mind getting a little messy. Um, and, you know, if you don't like some of that pooling on the end, you can, by the way, this is a messy technique. If you think you're going to come out without ink on your fingers, well, you're not. Um, and, you know, isn't it a great day when you get ink on your fingers? So, simple, fun, kind of uh, messing. I don't like that big pool on the end there. And then I'm going to kind of push this down a little bit. Find an area that is maybe not complete. This is a little bit drier. And have a block on it just to kind of keep it down. Or you can put a pen on it. Um, or you can put whatever it is you want on it. Um, just kind of keep it down to dry a little bit. So I'm going to just move that to the side. Out of the way. And how would, let's pretend I have, and I meant to make another one to show you, but let's pretend it's all dry. And it might be a little bit wrinkly, you know, might be a little up and down. That's okay. I, I turn it over and I use my silicone craft sheet with a little bit of Tombow glue. And you can use a sponge or a sponge dauber and just put that on the back and put it on your white. Now, one thing I want to tell you. I did cut these accurately, honest to goodness, but they get a little bit weird when you're putting a whole bunch of stuff on them and sometimes they get off shape. So I will have my paper trimmer when I do it with a class. If, if it doesn't seem quite even, people can trim it up after it's dry and go ahead and, um, you know, trim it to make it fit the white. If some people choose not to put it on white, let me show you, let me get some pink of the polish pink. This one happens to be embossed, but let's say they wanted to put it directly on the pink. You notice how it's much darker there? You can see it. It's much darker on the polished pink than it is. It pops more on the actual white. So that's a personal preference. If people don't want to put a white under there, they can just put it directly on the cardstock. So I hope you enjoyed this fun technique video on using your blends, a little bit of alcohol, and creating a mess, but having a ton of fun. So I hope you have a great Valentine's Day, Val Galentine's Day, whatever they call it now. And um, it was great to be with you. If you're one of my customers, you can find all the information in um, about ordering and such in the information on this video. Have a great day.